French Montana dropped a deluxe. Yo, mm -hmm. ice, ice. All right, I'm sorry. Ice. Ice. I'm sorry, bro. Ice. I'm sorry. I love French like you. Me too. But, but he why do you keep doing this? Stop, man. Somebody got to tell him to stop. Did you hear the newest, the, the latest? There's mm. more? Yes. So he did the, he did the vinyl pre-sale thing. Sure. Not mad at it. Of course. And Genius, $5. For the vinyl? Yes. Genius. Wait, do I get an hour consultation of NYCHA, <laughs> NYCHA uh, apartment? Yo, NYCHA. Yo, that's, Yo, stop hating on me. Yeah, that's nasty. We're going to jump you. We're going to jump Projects, you. nigga. All right, 30 minutes of I'm, how yo, NYCHA buildings I'm, are changing. I'm, I'm team that ish today, so I see we'll it. jump you. I see it. So what happened, so people, I saw a post. People were like, yo, if you pre-ordered the, uh, the, the French vinyl, did you get it? Uh-huh. So a lot of people was like, yo, I never... A lot of people, I mean, uh -huh. yeah, I really didn't get mine. Yeah. So they posting a tracking number, like people in, let's say, Jersey. Tracking number said your shit went to L.A. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Address is not yours. Mm -hmm. Then they show, you know, UPS will take the picture. Yeah. It's a bag like that. No vinyl ain't fit in there. So it's seems, you can't buy no vinyl for five dollars. Seems to be some more. It's a scam. Fudging of the numbers. And if you ever again. really. Bought the vinyl, you wouldn't sell it for five dollars. Yeah, no, that's what I'm like when I say you can't buy vinyl for five dollars. I'm not talking about you as a consumer cannot go to the store. You might be able to find a five dollar record somewhere. Yeah. I'm talking about the you artist. as the artist to oh, press a record costs no. more than five dollars. Yes, oh, for sure. See, I didn't know that. A lot more because I'm looking at it. I'm like normally when I see vinyl sales, it's twenty dollars, thirty dollars, and yeah. fifty dollars. There's a reason for it. It's and expensive. I'm like, because I'm looking at him, and, and you you're doing buy this in bulk, correct? And I was looking at this if he's doing it to sell his vinyls prior to the album coming out to have, you know, better numbers, uh -huh. a $5 price point might be great because then, hey, more people, a $5 is cool. I got that all day. You might not be able to do 45s for $5. Little records, little little shits with a big hole in the middle. You might not yeah. be able to do those for $5. Honestly. Let alone the big shit. Yeah, 21 track album. That's the double. <laughs> might, so be yeah, a might be I a triple. Just, I'm just like, I, I, mean, yeah, I love right. French, but it, maybe it ain't even him. It could be somebody above or whatever. Y'all playing, and people can see it. So we just want to point it out. Music games. Yeah. Yeah, but the remember the music games when you couldn't tell the music games was being played, like, unless you really knew? The average consumer don't know that. Though. No, the average consumers are on Twitter like, Ayo, dog, I ordered this, and I didn't get this, and then look, and now you're seeing a bunch of people saying the same shit. So like, oh, we were scammed. This is happening. An average user is opening Spotify and seeing you have seven versions of your album Covering the entire front page, it's like something just looks off, and it's bad because the music's actually good, and it's a good project. It is, it is. All it, it, all this shit is broke shit. It's nasty. All, it's just nasty. This whole shit is oh, the whole music business <laughs> is broke. Let me watch my words, man. I'm ready to go off. It bothers me that Usher can perform in front of 125 million people and sell 91,000 copies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. Yeah, it is. It says, no matter the eyes we put you in front of, shit ain't there's selling. a cap on We're gonna this We're going to keep shit. you right here. It is yeah. a, there's a cap on this. And I th I'm, I think it's purposeful. Yeah. Well, it's, I think some real toxic shit when it comes could to be. the music business, could be. the music industry. Because if that was some other person labels. on that stage, they hold damn their discography and be shooting up the charts. I'm sure all this mm -hmm. shit did. The and then you is dropped that, a new project? But the problem is that 91,000 sales is really hundreds and hundreds of millions of streams and that we that's don't eat foul. From. <laughs> that you don't eat from. Yeah. It's nasty. This whole shit is a trick. It's nasty. Mm. Yeah. It's nasty. Music business is very nasty right very now. Very fucking nasty. And like I said, it's happening more and more, which is why a lot of people go in indie. Exactly. Because it's yeah. like, yo, I can see the tricks now. Before, we couldn't see them. I can literally Before press up. I only up sell 150000 I'm getting all that bread. I can press up CDs or bread, records right? and go do a show at an SOBs-esque venue and so. sell them and make way more money in one night than I could Facts. with hundreds of millions of streams on the biggest playlist in the world. New Joe Biden.